Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to do a comparison between the Honor 50 against the LG Wing. The LG Wing, the last uh, LG phone that has been released the last year, a premium mid-range device and we want to compare the camera systems of both devices and we want to see which one is the winner in terms of videography but also photography. So let's get started. So let's talk cameras first and I'm recording this with the LG Wing at Full HD 60 frames per second and I want to show you the Honor 50's main camera here, 108 megapixel sensor as well as the ultra wide 8 megapixel, 2 megapixel depth and 2 megapixel macro sensor as well as an LED flash. So this is the camera system of the Honor 50. Now I'm recording with the Honor 50 and I want to show you the camera system of the LG Wing. At the top the big large sensor here is a 12 megapixel gimbal sensor. It's not using any hardware gimbal, it is purely software based but it's a very large sensor. Then we have a 64 megapixel main camera here and we have an ultra wide angle as well which is 13 megapixels. So in terms of specs I would say with the ultra wide angle being slightly better and having a gimbal ultra wide angle the LG Wing packs a lot for its camera system but the main camera only has 64 megapixels and a slightly smaller sensor than the Honor 50. Despite the fact that the Honor 50 has an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle and has one of the latest mid range top flagship 778G Snapdragon processor, the ultra wide angle on the Honor 50 can only record in 1080p 30 frames per second and uh, is completely absent from the 4K option, so it's a pretty limited uh, wide angle, super wide angle, but for vlogging style videos like this one you get this wide angle field of view and it's working pretty nice, but the LG Wing can beat it already because it can record at 1080p and 60 frames per second. And not only that, Full HD 60 frames per second is possible on the LG Wing, but the LG Wing on its ultra wide angle 30 megapixel sensor can also record in 4K30, which is also with the Snapdragon, what is it, 765G. It's a little bit astonishing in my opinion. I think they put in the better sensor for the ultra wide angle. And of course, you can also use the gimbal ultra wide angle, but this can only record at 1080p. So let's take a look at the gimbal camera right now. So the gimbal camera is a very interesting camera because I have to open up the T-shape of the LG Wing and I can hold it like a normal smartphone like this. I would hold the, um, uh, maybe you can see it in this reflection behind me, how I'm holding the phone right now, which is pretty cool and it's pretty stable as well. And uh, this is perfect for action shots. The only downside, but this is a downside of the um, on a 50 as well is that you don't have any autofocus with this so everything is basically in focus on the ultra wide angle is it a problem uh, not if you're doing such vlogging style videos is it a problem if you want to do some kind of close-up shots or macro shots yes because macro shots is something that this camera definitely misses because the ultra wide angle at least the gimbal one doesn't have any macro capabilities and how about the other ultra wide angle i don't think it has a macro capability because it also lacks autofocus it would be perfect if it would have uh, capabilities of uh, macro as well but yeah this is something where the honor shines even though it has a dedicated macro cam that usually people say yeah, it's crap because it doesn't have any autofocus and you have to find the right distance um, but wait a minute this 64 megapixel very large fairly large one over 1.7 inch size sensor it should be able 64 megapixels be able to crop in and have something similar to a macro shot hmm let's try that out here I am again uh, with the LG wing and its main camera and what I want to do is like show you how close you can get up to objects to see if you can go into a yeah, macro like uh, capability I think with the main camera you can get pretty close to those now it's getting unsharp but pretty close here 
to those little elements. This is a wireless microphone that I'm using here uh, usually. And you can see, yeah, it is like here, my thumb. It is something very, very uh, thing you can very get very, very close. And with the two times zoom, even more close. It's a digital zoom, but yeah, it works pretty nice to get very close up shots. And uh, I cannot uh, zoom out to the ultra wide angle uh, during the recording. So I have to stop here and go to the ultra wide angle, which is a bit of a bummer. So now same position with the ultra wide angle on the LG Wing, also 1080p 60 frames per second. How close can I get here? Can get a bit closer as you can see here, but it's not focusing on anything because there is no focus on this camera. The ultra wide angle has no focus. LG, this would be so awesome if you could add focus. Otherwise, yeah, I don't have the option to, I can zoom in digitally as you can see here, but there's no option to zoom in. Uh, directly to the one times uh, uh, main camera here which is a bit of a bummer i would say so yeah uh, the ultra wide angle is really only for vlogging not for close-up shots now the honor 50 and it's a main camera how close can we get to this microphone uh, also pretty close even closer i think a little bit than the lg wing though despite having like a larger sensor i think it has a smaller aperture which yeah, helps here in this case so you can get closer now you can see I can get even a bit closer. It was like, yeah, there, focusing. If I get too close, not focusing anymore, but here it is focusing. And bear in mind that I can go also and zoom in a little bit, like this is now two times. And as you can see here, the Honor 50 can go very close to this. And here with the main lens, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So I get like really, really macro shots with this camera. I cannot zoom out to the ultra wide angle, but uh, let's see the ultra wide angle. But it doesn't make any sense because the ultra wide angle doesn't have any autofocus. But yeah, just for for goodness sake, I'll show you how the ultra wide angle performs here. So this is now the same distance uh, where I was with the main camera with the ultra wide angle right now. You can see it is already unsharp and I can go closer, but it's not going to uh, get me closer. I'm touching already this this part here with the ultra wide angle. so. Yeah, it's not getting closer, it's not getting sharper. And I don't have any zoom option here. Can I zoom in manually? No, there's no zoom option at all for the ultra wide angle. So the ultra wide angle, yeah, doesn't have any autofocus at all. So it is yeah, not usable for this really close up shots. But the main camera, I'm very surprised how good it is also for macro like shots. Uh, last but not least, how does it look like if you want to vlog with the main camera of the LG Wing and to get like a nice background blur because it has a large 1 over 1.7 inch sized sensor and how does the autofocus work, work, how does the stabilization work, how does everything look like and uh, yeah this is a little test with the LG Wing. In the past I always had the problems that the LG Wing sometimes lost my face in the focus so that the background is sharp and my face is not sharp. I hope they improved it with software updates now. And uh, yeah, this is the test with the LG Wing. Let's compare it uh, full HD 60 frames per second with the Honor 50. And now the Honor 50 is the main back camera, 108 megapixel, 1 over 1.56 inch size sensor. So in theory, a larger sensor. So we should get also nicer background blur with the Honor 50. But uh, I read already with the iPhone comparison that the Honor 50's colors and uh, the, yeah, the contrast that it adds to the videos is a little bit harsh and it's a little bit yeah something that you don't want to have and the other thing is like i think it has a slightly wider field of view so you get maybe a bit less background blur or it's very comparable to the lg wings what do you think about the colors what do you think about the contrast what do you think about the 60 frames per seconds full hd uh, hdr stabilization and background blur write it down in the comment section what we want to do right now is check out some photos that I took with the Honor 50 and the LG Wing. So we compare a little bit about the photos. I will do that on computer again. A bit of might be a bit longer and the quality might be not the best, but you get the original quality of the photos as well down in the link. So check the description box for this. Let's take a look. Let's compare the video first. What we can see here on the left is the LG Wing and on the right we have 
the Honor 50. We can clearly see that the Honor 50 has this contrasty look, so everything looks a little bit uh, like under my eyes, a little bit darker than on the LG Wing. And if I scroll through the video, you can see I have a very nice uh, stupid faces that I make here. But again, too much shadow, too much contrast here, too much punchy colors. Let's take another one. And here you can see it also in the background. It's like too much green, too much red. And this is more realistic on the wing, definitely. We can also see the yeah, blown out highlights here in the sky. And there's a little bit of contours here on the wing, but also blown out most of the time. Then when it comes to sharpness, let's take a look here at full screen. You can see it looks pretty sharp, but it's not as sharp as the as the uh, Honor 50, but the Honor 50 gains this extra sharpness because of the much more contrast. So everything looks a bit more punchy, a bit more sharper uh, than on the wing. But I think the wing is here better because it doesn't have this contrasty look where it artificially sharpening sting things up. It has the better balance. It's not as soft as the I iPhone SE was, uh, but still maintaining a good sharpness, maintaining nice colors, and uh, yeah, having a nice um, field of view. You can see also the difference in terms of field of view. We have a wider field of view on the on a 50 and a more closer field of view on the LG Wing. In general, I have to say, what you have to do on the Honor 50 to get the look of the uh, wing would be like in post edit, get the contrast out of here. The good thing is the LG wing doesn't have this, so you can use it out of the box, the footage, and you don't have to post product it uh, as on the Honor 50. So maybe Honor can update this and add maybe some profiles where we have more flat profile for the video because it just has too much contrast by default. Here we have the shots on the left, the LG Wing, and on the right, the Honor 50. And what we can see here is the macro-like shot with the main camera lens. And we can see clearly that we can fo uh, have a more close focusing distance on the Honor 50. Everything is nice and sharp, as you can see here. And on the LG Wing, I think I missed the focus point somehow. Uh, the problem is here that I got the focus confirmation so it was focusing on something but actually you can see it is not really sharp here. Uh, it is wonderfully sharp on the L, uh, on the Honor, uh, Honor 50. Uh, on the two times zoom shot it looks also pretty familiar, pretty similar. You can see that the Honor 50 has like a more closer shot. I think it is a bit unsharp here already. And the LG Wing has a little bit more sharpness to it here, I would say. So, um, two times zoom, close up, I think the Honor 50 wins. And what you can see here is also a bit of a color shift, a more bluish, colder color on the Honor 50, a more warmer color on the LG Wing. When we take a look at some photos, flower, red flowers big problem for most of cameras because they are like overexposing or punching the colors too much. Both are doing it here, the LG uh, Wing and the Honor 50. The Honor 50 has more contrasty look, so you can see more of the contrast and contours of the flower itself. It's pretty sharp. And here on the LG Wing, also pretty sharp and a bit too much red. But when you take a look at the reds and at the details, I think the LG has a little bit of slight edge here to it. Might be also because uh, the more shallow depth of field that you get on the Honor 50 because of the 108 megapixels and larger sensor. But uh, with this overdone and over processed uh, colors, because it, b both are fake colors here. What you can do is like on both, you can disable the AI. On the Honor 50, the same picture comes out as with AI enabled. And on the LG Wing, however, you can see you get a more realistic color here. So it's not as red and punchy as on the Honor 50. And what we can see here, I missed the focus point a little bit, but the color is so great here. 
and it's still not 100% realistic because it was a bit of darker red color here, red color tone, but still a very nice shot. And uh, you can clearly see with LG, you have the possibility to get more natural shots with the AI disabled and more punchier shots with AI enabled. Let's take a look at the next shot, which is HDR. So HDR comparison on the first thing that you can see here, more contrasty, more punchy look on the Honor 50. Again, look at the clouds. There's basically no overexposing at all on the LG G Wing. You can LG Wing, not G Wing, LG Wing. You can see it is a yeah. We can see that the HDR effect is there, but the clouds. You can see in the clouds there is a bit of overexposing going on. Uh, so and there's a little bit of a haze going on as well, and you don't have this on the Honor 50. So yeah, overall, I'm not sure which one you like more. I think on the first glance, the Honor 50 ones looks a bit yeah better, but it's more artificial and yeah, LG Wing perhaps more realistic. Though I don't like this haze. This this is like kind of here you can see it and here. It's not there simply. Um, so yeah, not sure where this is coming from. Maybe it is a lens flare, some some sort. Anyway, uh, take a look at this one. Here I think the LG Wing wins clearly because it has natural colors here. The blue of the sky looks this uh, much. This is the two times zoom on both. It's the digital zoom because both don't have an optical zoom. And uh, yeah, the on a 50 is like doing its uh, magic, uh, like turning the sky into super, super blue here. And you can see also the exposure of the house here is a bit darker. It's a more bluish again. It's a more greenish in this case, but also more yellowish on the LG Wing. In this case, I have to say I really like the LG Wing photo better because it's more realistic to what I saw. When it comes to the ultra wide angle shot, also HDR, I think pretty similar to the last shot. So we have more yellowish tone to it on the LG wing and more bluish tone in terms of colors in the sky on the on a 50. When it comes to the ultra wide angle, you can see they're almost the same, but the LG is a little bit wider here, which is pretty interesting because uh, the I think they have like the LG has like a narrow field of view then or should have a narrow field of view than the Honor 50 on paper. But yeah, uh, as you can see here, also more clear, I think the um, it is more clear because it is using more megapixels. As you can see here, it's 12 megapixels uh, versus what is it here? Uh, six megapixels. So it's six, it's about eight megapixels or something like eight megapixels on the um, on a 50. So there is a difference. When we take a look at the sides here, you can see, yeah, it is not the best. As we can see here, it's like kind of blurry. Take a look at the uh, on a 50, so you can see there's a lot of more noise creeping in here that you don't see so much on the wing. And when we take a look at the uh, at uh, the leaves here a lot better resolution a lot sharper a lot clearer on the wing in uh, terms of this and you can see a heavy like uh, noise and uh, noise anti-noise uh, on the uh, on a 50 so clearly when it comes to the ultra wide angle it is um, almost night and day i would say what we can see here cooler look on the honor 50 again warmer look on the wing the wing clearly wins with the ultra wide angle here when we take a look at uh, this shot here, it's pretty interesting, I would say, because we have now a more orange kind of tone and more punchy colors on the Honor 50, and we have more muted colors, a bit more yeah, cooler colors on the wing. And the interesting part is like uh, here, we can see the, yeah, the, 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 the orange looks a bit more orange. And here we see, first of all, the much much better both using the main lens so the focusing worked pretty nice on this orange you can see even like the little um yeah little details on this little uh, orange uh, that you simply miss on the honor 50 when it comes to the leaf here take a look at this leaf and compare it to this leaf 
or the one in the back you can also see that there is a big difference as a big difference in color we have more greenish kind of color and more cooler green kind of color on the wing so this in those um, comparisons here when we take a look at the selfie cam what we can see here is pretty similar they have good hdr the same hdr issues or same hdr like on the front on the on the back cam we have like the, some overexposure in the sky very sharp as you can see here in terms of uh, hairstyle no issues at all this is with the front camera so this is a very good front cam as you can see here very very sharp my face and the little hairs you can see and a little bit of background blur as well uh, then we can take a look at the honor 50 and then a 50 has like this uh, cooler kind of look uh, it is also sharp and everything is fine despite both not having autofocus i think the hair is also pretty fine and pretty good it has a wider field of view because the honor 50 has um, the option like of a wider angle which is very helpful for selfies or group selfies uh, there could be a second person next to me here as well but maybe a bit more cramped up um, otherwise like a bit more yellowish tone again on the LG and a bit more bluish tone colder tone on the Honor 50 and uh, now let's go to a bit of zoom shots again two times zoom um, both the same distance but you can see that the LG wing is cropping in a little bit more than the uh, Honor 50 this has something similar uh, simply to do with the default photo length that is a bit wider on the uh, Honor than on the LG but what we can see here if I go to 100% is that we have like wow this is really really sharp and good it has also of course something to do with higher resolution uh, because we have still 12 megapixels but we also have almost 12 megapixels here on the Honor 50 and you can see how much worse the Honor 50 looks like um, here it's really sharp to read and here it's like hmm not so sharp to read and uh, yeah this is a big big difference of course and it is more apparent than if you go to five times digital zoom which i'm very surprised how good the lg wing here is on five time digital zoom uh, just take a look at it. it's like sharp it's really really amazing what the lg wing can do here and the on a 50 yeah it is more readable than before but if i go to 100 percent, you can see it is not really sharp and here it's really really sharp it's a night and day difference and i think clear winner here when it comes to zooming is the um, lg wing even though the lg wing doesn't have any dedicated zoom lens it's destroying the honor 50 in terms of uh, digital zoom which is uh, yeah pretty interesting let's take a look at the bokeh or portrait shots so portrait shots both have portrait shots the lg wing has an option where i can later on also um, yeah, change the, the the bokeh effect so you can see i have like background blur set to five or something not to ten um, by default everything is nice and sharp and i think the cutouts also in the hair worked most likely it is more convincing kind of bokeh shot than on the honor 50. honor 50 also has good cutouts as you can see here maybe slightly even better cutouts than here especially this hair uh, piece here maybe even better than the uh, lg wing but it has like bokeh set to 10 or something like this and the thing is you cannot configure this you have no option to configure the bokeh in the portrait mode here at all it's just like automatically uh, doing this here uh, this by the way is uh, taken with the back camera not the front facing camera and what we can see is like everything's overexposed in this bokeh area here in the background so probably no hdr kicking in and we have a bit of clouds still here and contours that we can see on the wing so there's a bit of hdr processing going on um, i have to say the more convincing more realistic photo is the lg wing um, but the bokeh effect is a bit better on the, the the cutout simply on the honor 50 but i wish the the bokeh would be controllable uh, because it's just too much bokeh here and uh, it's too unnatural in in my opinion and the lg wing is uh, clearly better there when it comes to nighttime shots i will show you also a nice little video 
uh, where I compare those two shots here. LG's night mode is pretty interesting because you have a moon here where you can go down to make the exposure a little bit darker or to go up to make the exposure a little bit uh, brighter. And if I hit a shot, you can see that it will be very, very quickly done. And I have quickly a very bright image here if I want to. So nighttime photography is pretty interesting on the LG software. The Honor software for nighttime photography is pretty simple. As you can see here, it is basically doing everything automatically. And if I hit the um, volume key here right now, you can see there's a simple countdown running down here that takes the shot then. So one thing that I don't want to miss out is a comparison between the camera software. So on the top we have the LG Wing and let's take a look at its camera software and on the bottom we have the Honor 50 and let's take a look at its camera software. The camera software is pretty similar as you can see here. So we have the various different modes. We have a video mode, we have an, uh, here we have a photo and video mode as well. We have a time-lapse mode here and I think it is hidden under more here where we have a time-lapse mode as well and you have pretty much the same settings as you can see here moving objects and uh, yeah, basically no you don't have any settings here in time-lapse mode can you go in here just to control but uh, not much else on the honor phone so it's missing some settings and here on the um, LG Wing, I can set like the uh, time lapse how it should be like uh, 15 times, 10 times, 5 times, 1 times automatic or 60 or something like times. And here I cannot set anything, I can just go to information which says record video that appears to be speed up, and <laughs> that's all. So, uh, yeah, not really a setting besides uh, the option to. And I also can use it in uh, one time, so only with the normal angle. Um, and I can zoom in a little bit, which is also interesting. And here uh, I have the option to choose various different settings, HD resolution, steady cam on or off. And uh, if I have it off, I can choose also the two times and the ultra wide as well for time lapse, which is pretty cool. Then I have here a night time lapse on, which allows me to record a a video of uh, yeah, stars moving around or something like this which is pretty awesome on the LG wing so it has a nighttime uh, mode as well otherwise you can have also a time lapse uh, with the steady shot on yeah holding it in your hands simply which is also pretty awesome on the LG wing otherwise we have a photo mode we have a portrait mode with various different blurs 3d uh, views and uh, so on so it has very much uh, yeah lots and lots of options here for the portrait mode when we compare this with the honor 50 i think the honor 50 somehow has like a bit of limited options we have only the option to set a beauty mode zero means off and by default it's set to five I just uh, if you're not Asian just set it to zero I it sounds a bit racist uh, I'm not a racist no uh, you have the bokeh option that you can turn off or on and that is basically everything if you turn it off you have a flashlight option here uh, for the portrait mode in uh, video mode uh, nothing much that you can set up here how does a video mode look like here we have the option to directly switch to 4k 60 even if we want to in video mode and we have the ultra steady cam which goes to full hd uh, 30 frames per second i think it is which is yeah, ultra steady otherwise we have color filters that we can choose from original we have warm one we can set the strength of this one uh, bright one merry one and nostalgia and so on uh, various different filters they don't have like a preview here but we have various different filters and we can download even more if we go to here and we go to LG smart world I have to update stuff now but in theory this is how it works and it's pretty cool and awesome I would say that you have the option to choose various different uh, color, fil color filters here as well and we have an edit button here where we can arrange uh, rearrange the filters if we want to which is also 
very very awesome then we have a flash button where we can turn on the flashlight if we want to so yeah i like the color options here this is something that we miss completely on the uh, honor i don't know uh, back in Huawei times, Honor phones had color options. Of course, Leica color options, but it's missing in video mode. But you have your like, beauty option, of course, that I turned off here. Then we have uh, multi-video mode, which uh, uses the back and front cam. And you can switch here between different uh, options, how it should look like. And you get nice previews, which is pretty awesome as well. And we have such a mode as well here on the lg let me go out of here and we can go to more and then we have the where is it ah i think i know you have to go to the uh, camera app in t mode and then you have the option to go to dual recording which uses the front facing camera that is coming here and here you can see me with the back camera and the front camera and i have also the option to do it side by side like this and i can also switch sides if i want to so this is also possible on the lg wing but this dual recording is only possible with the main gimbal camera of the lg wing on the back yeah so this is uh, that when it comes to video recording there's also under more you can see we have a little bit of more options here we have even youtube live option where we can just connect with youtube and directly live stream from the camera app here we have a slow-mo option here uh, which allows us also to use the ultra wide angle and the main camera for slow motion and we have an option here uh, part slow-mo or all slow-mo so this is what we can do the entire video will be in slow motion and we have some settings here for the slow motion as well uh hevc that we can set up here if we want to that is pretty much everything that we can set up i'm not even sure how slow it will be here's like an explanation that tells us how it works and yeah this is how slow motion works and here of course we also have slow motion uh do we i don't see it there's no slow motion mode there's no slow motion mode on honor no dedicated slow motion mode you can of course use the time lapse mode for this but yeah that's not really useful is this uh and we can download stuff here but nah. no slow motion mode on the honor 50 which is a bit of weird let's go out of here go to the more section again and you can compare now the more section it looks on the first uh, yeah on the first look it looks like the honor wins but the honor has like a text document scanning feature that the lg lacks it has a story mode which is pretty interesting so you can create stories already let's go out here before the the copyright strikes um, we have a high res mode where we can record in uh, the full 108 megapixels or create a photo in 108 megapixels we have some stickers here that we can put on uh, allow connecting to the internet and then we can like put stickers on we have various different ones here <sighs> you really don't use it <sighs> really i never saw someone using it uh, we have a panorama mode here as well uh, we have a pro mode and uh yeah that's super macro mode of course because there's a macro camera in here and let's take a look at the pro mode yeah pro mode what can we set up here in the pro mode let's go like this you can read it uh so we have iso we have shutter speed that we can set up we have exposure control and we have the focusing as well as white balance here and we metering modes that we can set up uh, let's take a look at the lg wing we have manual camera mode here and uh, wow this interface really looks like a camera interface so we have uh, a white balance here yeah we can set up kelvins even if we want to we have manual focus that for some reason oh, we have to go to one times camera uh, manual focus auto focus that we can set up here so we have the option to do this here go very close focusing we have focus peaking wow just like on on professional dslm cameras we have focus speaking which allows us to see where our focus you can see this green uh, hint here that shows where we're focusing on we have exposure control that i cannot control right now uh, we have iso that i can control here i can also go to auto iso 
and I have shutter speed that I control here freely if I want to I can go also to full auto if I want to yeah and there I have uh, auto exposure control as well so yeah this is possible I like this uh, option here where you click on something it focuses on it and if it finds focus you can click again for taking the shot another cool thing is we have an uh, the f-stop here f1.8 and we have a small little histogram that's pretty awesome it's like yeah like a real camera almost yeah and that's not all because we have also a pro mode for video which is called manual video which allows us to set various different things for video as well like for example the shutter speed we can set it up if it doesn't crash <laughs> that's the first time we can set the shutter speed here we can set it to auto 160s the ISO uh, exposure control is disabled because we set the ISO if you go to auto you can see I uh, have the control over the exposure as well uh, the AF manual focus with focus peaking again if we want to have focus peaking in video mode and we can set also the uh, white balance manually then we have here as you can see here in the uh, bottom left we have the microphone option here we see full HD 30 17 megabits per second so we can see what this is we can control it in the settings here we can go and take a look at the uh, frames per second we can go up to 250 40 frames per second if we want to we have the resolution we can change various different resolutions here we have also full vision which uses the whole screen here 21 by 9 aspect ratio is also possible uh, we have hi-fi auto recording uh, HEVC as recording a steady recording as well as tracking focus if we want to track and maintain uh, focus on a moving subject and we have a grid that we can turn on these are the settings here and we can click on this hi-fi option where we have even more options to tweak our sound so if you have an external sound card in inserted we have a wind filter option here uh, external sound card if we have like something over USB-C plugged in external microphone we can configure it here we can see what's going on we can raise the volumes we can raise the frequencies we have a low cut and no uh, noise filter um, available here we can make it a bit louder wow voice control microphone control this is so advanced lg really we will miss you for this these really advanced controls in video mode this is one of the best uh, out of the box camera experience i saw so far even better than uh, samsung's and uh, sony's definitely and it's competing basically with filmic pro i would say as an application that i'm currently right now using here here to record on the Xperia 1 Mark III and uh, yeah so wow and here <laughs> we have like a pro mode but only for photos no video pro mode it's a bit of a bummer I know LG has the magic free series that has probably also pro mode that is probably not also coming close to the LG one but yeah it is like mm, a dumped down version and I would really like to have pro mode here also for video so uh, honor if you're listening here this is really necessary i think uh, if you want to sell the um, honor 50 also for vloggers sometimes we want to use manual settings as well and yeah the lg wing is i think the clear winner when it comes to the camera application because it has more options more professional options for people you yeah that really take videos and uh, photos seriously and one last comparison the front facing uh, video camera this one doesn't have any autofocus as you can see here on the LG wing this is uh, 1080p 60 frames per second that you can record with the front facing camera of the LG wing and you have also the option to get to go to 4k 30 frames per second so like a true flagship should have this um, capability when it comes to stabilization i think it's pretty stable and it would be also very awesome for vlogging i would say and with the yeah, pop-up selfie camera it is also very hidden and almost not uh, seen usually so you have the full screen which is pretty awesome and uh, yeah this is the front facing camera and this is also the audio from the LG wing if you didn't notice without any microphone attached because I don't have a microphone attached to it right now so let's compare it with the Honor 50s video of the front facing camera 
This is now the on a 50s front facing uh, video camera, 1080p, 60 frames per second. See, hey, we have 60 frames per second on the front cam. We don't have 4K, unfortunately, but we have another feature. We have an ultra wide angle right now, and I can go to uh, one times uh, if, I, if I want to. Uh, so the ultra wide angle is, I think, pretty good for vlogging. So you have like this wider field of view. Stabilization and colors should be good as well, as well as also HDR, I think. So the front facing camera here on the Honor 50 is pretty good. And I think it, as it is market also for uh, vlogging as a vlogger camera, the front facing 32 megapixel camera is pretty awesome, pretty damn good on the Honor 50, but uh, yeah, wow, well, sound quality, because this is yeah recorded without any microphone, you might hear the uh, airplane now flying over my head here, and uh, yeah, this is the sound quality of the Honor 50, I think it has better high dynamic range on the front facing camera, what do you think, write it down in the comment section. So, all in all, Honor 50 against the LG Wing in terms of camera, which one is the better in terms of photo and video quality? Write it down in the description box. I'm very, very interested to uh, learn about it. I'm very surprised about the Honor 50's close-up macro capability in video mode, which are a surprise to me actually. And uh, the LG Wing is no slouch. I think their gimbal stabilization and the ultra-wide angle have a notch against the Honor 50, so they are a little bit better here. But what about colors? Which one you like better? Write it down in the comment section. And uh, if you have some other phone that I should compare the Honor 50 to, write it down in the comment section as well. That is everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to support independent content creation like this, where I have a comparison between cameras and uh, different phones in the mid-range section, for example, and reviews and other things, just Hit the subscribe button. Subscribers help me to ask companies to send me phones for review, for testing, for doing all this stuff that I'm doing here right now. So that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.